but I got this from eBay and do I have the receipt of this? Is this the correct receipt? Yeah, I paid 21 bucks and 80 cents on this film and probably I, yeah, uh, total uh, it was 27 bucks for uh, including shipping. So I think this was a, this was a good deal. So what is this? Okay, it's only one movie, but it's not a, any movie. This is science fiction trashy turkey film. And maybe if you're at all interested in in this um, like 50s science fiction, you probably at least have heard of this film. Now, the first time I heard about this film was uh, I, I learned from the library this Nalle Virolainen uh, Roska Elokuvat trash films book and I remember reading about this film but uh, that was like uh, early 90s in Finland so this was impossible to see from anywhere and then uh, for some reason I didn't even get the DVD I know it, it has been released previously on DVD but now I got this fantastic 70th anniversary restoration in 3D and that means in Blu-ray 3D so I will put my 3D goggles on and do this interview through that because this like you like you you probably know but Blu-ray 3D meaning it's meaning that you don't have to use these you use these type of glasses that oh my god I can't see anything with through these glasses so I will put them here but yeah you don't have to use these crappy um, red and blue glasses because you can use these real 3D glasses and while they are not the most perfect glasses you can ever wear but at least you don't get a freaking headache when you're using these correct glasses and I didn't even know that this thing was even shot on 3D until I got this. Uh, I got the, I read the announcement of Robot Monster coming on Blu-ray and I was like, yeah man, I gotta get this. And I think this was announced like a, as a, as a um, uh, Kickstarter campaign. Uh, so people could fund this. And there's a documentary on this disc for the painstakingly they went through various prints because if if a 3d film from the 50s or the 80s or whatever if there's no like clear print like a pristine print it's very difficult to restore do the restoration because 3d you know it it demands like uh, two separate basically two separate pieces of move say, uh, different films of the same movie just like a um, from slightly different angle if I can explain this like uh, understandably so finding a pristine print of for these both of these pictures and restorating so these uh, so that they don't you know flicker the different eyes don't flicker <coughs> at the different time it is very very difficult so, before we go there, let's investigate the Robot Monster Blu-ray. And yeah, we get a basic release. I don't know if their Kickstarters got their some sort of a slipcover or special packaging. So you can see this is a very standard looking packaging. And it was uh, restored by the 3D Film Archive, which I have many of the films from 3D Film Archive and especially from the 50s and, and 70s and whatnot and the 80s. But I was kind of surprised that this is a very small label release, Bayview Entertainment. And I would like to think that someday they will do a reissue through Kino Lorber because Kino Lorber have done lots of, lots of, um, lots of releases that were restored by, by the 3D film archive. Yeah. Okay, this film... Now, this is a classic trashy film, and this film is starring Roman. It's not a human, it's a Roman. God damn it. 
uh, the film directors, films director Phil Tucker, somewhere he found a gorilla suit and also this kind of like a diverse helmet, this kind of old fashioned diverse helmet. So he put the antennas on the diverse helmet and called this thing wearing gorilla suit and diverse helmet. He called it a Roman because he's a robot monster and he he has arrived to earth and some using this uh, what was the ray called calcium ray or something using this deadly calcium ray this guy has single-handedly destroyed all armies of the world and all people in the world <laughs> except for eight people so this story is about Roman searching in California, um, searching these eight people, and these eight people, or should I say five people, they are living behind these kind of electrical fences, because uh, the fences are protecting some from the Roman signal, so Roman cannot find them, so they are hiding there and trying to find a way how to destroy Roman. And God damn it, this is this is absolutely hilarious film. The dialogue, it is its own own class. And I don't know why these people they keep going behind the fence. The kids are constantly going behind the electrical fence just to get on under the mercy of Roman. And the, even this young couple they get married and they hey we are going on our honeymoon. Yeah, we are going to the fields. And these other people say, yeah, that's fantastic, just go there. And what happens? Well, Roman arrives and kidnaps the lady. <laughs> and then, get this, Roman falls in love with this lady. And then, he, this Roman receives, he receives signals from his superiors from the sky. And then he says, you must destroy the woman. And then Roman says, I must, but I can't. I must, but I can't. I must, but I can't. He says it three times. It's absolutely fantastic, trashy film. And the duration was just a little under 80 minutes. And that is also padded with this. Uh, you know, of course, it's a 50s film. You cannot do a film where whole worlds is destroyed. You gotta have this kind of epilogue and prologue to explain that this was all a dream so that's bullshit but that's kind of funny bullshit considering this matter the subject matter and okay so romance base in this one one cave what was the place called uh some canyon i think this is a very popular place to was was very popular place to shoot westerns and science fiction films back in the day in uh, near los angeles or something and yeah, the romance base is in that cave. Caves. He has one screen there and one radio equipment. And for some reason, he has some uh, soap bubble machine there. And it is constantly blowing out of soap bubbles. I don't know. What was the reasoning behind that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, hey, I highly recommend Robot Monster. If you are at all a fan of a 50s science fiction and or fan of, you know, bad B, B-class science fiction film, this is definitely something that you need to check it out. I, I strongly recommend this film. But the picture quality, let's go over there. So this is a 3D film and obviously I watched the 3D version of this film, not this crappy motherfucking red and blue glasses version, but this real 3D version. And I gotta tell you, for a film that was shot with six, only $16,000, only on four days, in 3D, back in the 1953 or something, I gotta tell you, it is pretty well done. I mean, I have seen worse bigger budget movie that of 3D movies that were, you know, worse than this. So I gotta hand it to these guys. They really know, know, knew their stuff. 
So the picture quality, because it was so well well shot and very well lit, so the picture quality looks like it was a bigger budget film. Because I have seen Blu-rays from 1950s films, and this is perfectly on par with the best restorations on the on this one. And also gotta give the credit to the uh, to the three D film archive and all the people who who were restoring this thing because the picture quality most of the time is very very good uh, considering all the circumstances and now uh, Hosuli Hemuli asks does it have 3d pop-up effects indeed it does indeed it does but is it the best I've ever seen no 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 it is not because uh, for for a film film exam for example film uh, creature from the Black Lagoon around the same time, I think it has better 3D effects. But considering th again considering the budget and the time they had to use this, it is good enough. I mean, uh, this ha this has kind of like a modern feel to it because it doesn't try to use the 3D as a gimmick. It is more like a plane effect, if you at all get what I'm going with this. You know, like more in modern films, you get the, if it's a 3D film, you get the front uh, front plane and you get the back back plane, and clearly it's like 3D. So basically the 3D, 3D effect here um, is pretty much that. But there was like soap bubbles coming out of the screen once and Roman, especially in the end, Roman is walking through the screen. But yeah, I gotta tell you that that wasn't that impressive 3D effect. But yeah, I think overall this release picture quality wise was more than I was expecting. Simply more than I was expecting of this film. And the extras, there were bundles of extras. Like I mentioned already, there were extras about the restoration process of this thing. Very interesting, especially if you're uh, a 3D freak like I am. And then there was some uh, Bella Lucosi short, short film. And then this kind of like weird comedy act. But basically it was shown in the screening show of Robot Monster before the film. So like this comedy guy making fun of this film so <laughs> that was that was pretty weird extra and pretty weird that they you know they even have back in the day included this as a part of this show but yeah but i gotta mention this one extra precise the interviews and usual interviews and makings of and then it was absolutely fantastic extra like a collection of stereoscopical photographs from the 1950s and 60s. You know, they were handled so like, like these, they are like photos of Amer photos of Americana in the 50s. And because they are 3D, they don't look like that old pictures. They look like they were taken yesterday, but the People look, 50s people, obviously, and the cars and the buildings and that. And that was, uh, that was very, very nice zeitgeist extra. And that, that was probably the best extra on this disc. Very nice stuff. I liked it. So overall, I will definitely, hey, if you are not a fan of trashy films, then you will probably give one star for this film. But I am a fan of trashy films. I will give the film five star rating. I think this is more more better trashy film than Plan Nine from Outer Outer Space. Even though that is usually the uh, you know the holy grail of the trashy films. But I think this beats it. And for the release, hey, it is it is the you know more than I was expecting. So I gotta give it four stars because. Okay, one minus I have to say about them extras. They were like weirdly separated in the menu, like 2D extras and 3D extras. And there was no sub menu. So basically every extra is on like on in one video. So you, you cannot skip. You don't know what, what to expect in these extras. So that was a, a minor minus, but... Five stars, five stars for the movie and five, four stars for the release. Hey, if you like it, rec recommend it.
Yeah.